As Mets owner Steve Cohen puts it, this giant parking lot around City Field is 50 acres of blank canvas just waiting for ideas and possibilities. They could put restaurants here. They could put family entertainment venues over here. They might even put a casino over here. The very future of this land is being debated right now. If you ever looked at the area surrounding City Field in Queens and thought it was just a lot of empty, wasted space, Mets want to hear your game plan. You know, it's really important to us to listen to the community and, and, you know, we're looking for great ideas. Team owner Steve Cohen held a community visioning session to field possibilities about what the area around this field should become. Dozens of the surrounding Queens community came to share their thoughts. He's really asking the community what we need, what our needs are. And things that create uh, excitement for the community, for East Elmhurst, for people to come over and to um, get active. We need more community space and ways to serve our kids who need constructive things to do after school. Uh, we need things like entertainment and dining and gaming. How do we create something that works for the community, works for businesses, works for creates jobs. One big idea Cohen has been batting around, building a casino next to his stadium. New York is accepting proposals for casinos right now. Whether or not Mets fans in the Queens community want one here, well, that's still up for debate. We're, we're listening and, and uh, a casino is definitely an option. Critics say this land has been designated as a park space and legally isn't allowed to be anything else. Others wonder what will happen when the parking lot is removed and people aren't able to park here anymore. The Mets disagree with that. We don't expect everyone to support all our ideas, and but that's what the discussion's about. This area surrounding City Field has basically been a parking lot since 1939. It'll still be months before anything is decided on what to do with it, and likely years before anything physically is actually built here. Still, this is a very important story for Mets fans and Queens residents to follow in the coming days, months, and years ahead.